Hi, this is Indy Bain. Um, today I'm showing you how to create samples on GarageBand and send them into hit pads on a MIDI keyboard. And uh, today I'm using the Akai MPK Mini. So um, you could, of course, create your own sounds on GarageBand and then um, send them in. But today I'm going to be downloading a song from the internet. From YouTube um, and creating a sample from that song and I'm going to use Paddling Out by Mike Snow. So I go into the video and just quickly pause it and then I copy the link um, and go into YouTube dash mp3 dot org and then there's I don't know there's usually a link here just take that away and then paste the link that you copied press convert video download So now it's done downloading. So you click on it, agree. So there it is on iTunes. So when you've downloaded the song into iTunes, go into GarageBand and then uh, make a song and name it whatever you want. I've already done that so. Um, so then um, to create samples, um, as I said today I'm using the Akai MPK Mini and uh, there's these hit pads on them and I want the different samples to correspond to the hit pads um, and uh, already when you buy the Akai MPK Mini um, the hit pads are assigned very far down on the piano so I need to choose a uh, sound that doesn't have any inbuilt sounds anywhere well yeah obviously in the middle but nothing at the bottom or at the top and uh, for example, Grand Piano has a like has a note all the way down, so you can't choose that. Most sound effects work good. Um, I often choose nature sounds. Um, so when you uh, press Shift, Command, and K, and you bring this up, uh, and um, so you move down the octave here. To about here somewhere, adds they correspond to. Um, you can see that the notes are being pressed on the piano. And um, so, when you create a sample or a sound and you want to send it in, you just put it into the um, the note that's being pressed. So um, I'm going to do that now. So open this little square here view slash hide the media browser and here I have paddling out so I pull it in here so now I open up the scissors here and uh, I can kind of see here on the waves what, what when the notes are being played like so um so I want this note here first. So um and as you can see the the beginning of the note doesn't really correspond to the little squares. So to make sure that I get it right, I press control and then take away snap to grid. So I know that everything here in the beginning I don't want, so I just do a little marker like this and take it away. And then I pull it here, carefully 
put it right to the beginning. And I know that the second note is the same as the first, so I just take that one away too. To about there. So um this is the note that I want. So um to put to then put that into the keyboard I press shift command K and then hit pad number five and I see that that is uh, the U there so I pull pull it into U so now when I press pad number five it makes the noise that I chose so that's how to create samples in GarageBand and send them to a MIDI keyboard Hopefully this was useful for you and hopefully I'll see you again soon. This is Indie Bane saying over and out for now.